DeFi is one of the hottest trends in blockchain right now. I mean, there has been an explosion of blockchain-based financial applications that's more than 4 x in the last year alone. And this has presented so many opportunities to earn you know, passive income and also buy undiscovered cryptocurrencies that haven't hit major exchanges yet. And so you might have heard all the hype about DeFi and wonder, how do I get started with this myself? Well, that's exactly what I'm going to show you in this video. I'll show you what I personally use as a blockchain developer who works with the Ethereum network on a daily basis. I'll walk you through each step in the process so you can be up to speed in no time. So before we get into that, you know, if you're brand new around here, hey, I'm Gregory. And on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something that you're interested in, then smash the like button down below for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to this channel. And if you want to learn how to master blockchain step by step from start to finish, then head on over to dappydiversity.com forward slash bootcamp to get started today. And last but not least, of course, this is not financial advice. I'm not telling you to do this. I'm not a financial advisor. This is for educational purposes only. And with that being said, let's get started. So a quick recap before we get started. You know, what is DeFi? Well, this is basically taking traditional financial use cases and moving them over to the blockchain. Things like savings, loans, and trading. And this is a huge trend that's taking off like crazy. So there's over $2 billion worth of cryptocurrency locked in these DeFi protocols right now at the time of recording this video. And you know that trend has more than 4x in the last year alone. So you can look at a list like this and see that an overwhelming number of these DeFi projects are built on top of the same blockchain, Ethereum. And that's because Ethereum is a leader in decentralized finance right now. So really quick recap, you know, Ethereum is a blockchain that supports smart contracts, which are basically just programs that run on the blockchain. And uh, it's the number two market cap cryptocurrency at the time of recording this video. So Ethereum is very popular, and that's the blockchain that we're going to focus on today for getting into DeFi. And many of these apps that are powered by Ethereum, they just look like regular websites, okay? But they function differently because they actually talk to smart contracts on the blockchain. And so this might be a little confusing the first time you interact with one of these, but I'm going to show you how to do it in this video. And so lastly, like, why would you do this on the blockchain instead of the old way? Well, there are some benefits that you can't get, like uh, competitive interest rates. You can do things like yield farming, which I just made a video on recently. You should go check that out. And lastly, you can buy smaller market cap cryptocurrencies that run on top of Ethereum that aren't listed on major exchanges. And a lot of these are really hot right now and pumping in price. So there's lots of reasons why you want to do DeFi. And some of the use cases are definitely materializing as this space pushes forward. But, but here are just a few that are you know very beneficial for casual users today. And so if you want to get into DeFi, there are a few different prerequisites that you need. All right. The first is that you need to hold some Ethereum cryptocurrency at a bare minimum, because in order to use any of these applications, you have to pay gas fees and you'll do this with Ether. And so that's what I'm going to show you how to do right now. So the easiest way to get some Ether is going to be to use a website like Coinbase.com. OK, I've been a long time Coinbase user. Uh, I've also used Binance. So that's another option as well. So this is a cryptocurrency exchange website where you can basically buy cryptocurrency with with, you know, your bank account or your debit card, uh, whatever. And there are inevitably going to be people watching this video that say, oh my gosh, like you're telling people to use a centralized exchange, give them your ID and all this kind of stuff. So um, to that, I would basically say like, what's your alternative? Uh, most people who don't know how to use blockchain, like you can't really get cryptocurrency any other way. Like they're not going to be able to mine it. Uh, they probably don't have anyone to send them cryptocurrency, et cetera, et cetera. So, you know, I will say the risks of this are you do have to give over your bank account information uh, or your debit card uh, and and also give them your ID in order to KYC. But this is the platform that I personally use as my on-ramp and op-ramp. So in order to get started, you'll need to create a Coinbase account. So that's like a multi-step process where you give them your ID and you have to be verified. So I went through that a long time ago. So the process might have changed a little bit uh, compared to today. But just a heads up, there may be some delay between the time that you sign up and the time that you can actually purchase cryptocurrency. Okay. So you'll definitely do that and then add some sort of payment method like a bank account or a debit card, for example. For most people, debit card is probably the easiest and safest way to go, especially for a small amount of cryptocurrency, which is exactly what I advise you to do if you're getting started. Again, this is not financial advice, but if you're going to do something like this, definitely start small just so you can learn. Okay. So um, go to the prices, then find Ethereum. All right. And then um, if you're going to buy some, I recommend just like $15 worth. So $5 might not be enough because you're going to need to pay gas fees on these different apps. So, you know, maybe 15, 20 bucks. I mean, definitely do what you're worth, you know, what you're willing to lose completely. All right. But 15 is probably a good starting point. So you'll just click preview buy and you'll see the fees broken down here. Click buy now. Okay. 
And this will also probably take a little bit of time before the funds are available to you. So like if you see, if you click buy, you know, you can trade your ETH instantly, but you have to wait for up to three days before you can withdraw it. All right. So that's really important. So there's definitely going to be some delay time before like you create your Coinbase account and when you can get into the actual DeFi ecosystem. All right. But I'm going to show you that next critical step right now. So the next major prerequisite that you need is an Ethereum wallet that's connected to your browser. Okay, so I highly recommend MetaMask, uh, you know, combined with Google Chrome because people already use Chrome. It's pretty popular. And MetaMask is really easy to install. All you have to do is go to the Google Chrome web store, search for MetaMask, and click install. I've already done it, so my button looks different here. So why do you need MetaMask? Well, in order to use a dApp, you know, or any of these DeFi based applications, you need a special browser extension because most browsers out of the box don't support connection to the blockchain. And that's what MetaMask does. Okay. And then also in order to use one of these, you have to have cryptocurrency in your wallet. So MetaMask also doubles as a wallet so that you can manage your account, hold the cryptocurrency, and then sign the transactions in order to use these DeFi apps. And so once you install MetaMask, you'll need to, uh, you know, set up your wallet. Wallet. So it's going to ask you to like, you know, walk through some setup steps. Uh, you know, it'll show you your recovery phrase. So make sure you back that thing up and share it with no one. And then you're going to set a password to uh, protect your MetaMask account. So go ahead and do all that. And once you've got it set up, you should see an account automatically generated for you here. So this is going to be your account on the Ethereum network. So it's going to be sort of like your, you know, username or email address on the Ethereum network. So it's going to have a private key associated with it as well, sort of like a password. And I'll show you how to export that later. Uh, but basically... This is going to be your, uh, you know, main wallet for using DeFi, using the blockchain. So what we want to do is get uh, cryptocurrency out of Coinbase or wherever you got it initially and move it into your MetaMask wallet so that you can use these apps. And so first and foremost, you basically want to copy your account address here. All right. And then go into uh, Coinbase or wherever. So you'll click wallet here and then click send. So my button's actually grayed out right now and yours probably will be too if you just purchased some. Again, you have to wait three days before you can do this. But click send, you know, paste in your address that you copied from MetaMask here. And then uh, you should receive a, a email confirmation whenever it's been deposited to your wallet. And so whenever that's done, you should see your balance uh, reflected here. And you can also see your deposit history. You can click on this right here uh, to see the actual transaction on Etherscan. Okay. And there we go. So now we're ready to uh, start using these DeFi apps. So the very first one that we're going to use is a decentralized exchange. So go to your URL bar up here and type in one inch dot exchange. So this is a decentralized exchange, okay? So it's basically a cryptocurrency exchange, kind of like Coinbase, but it actually runs on the blockchain, hence decentralized exchange. So, you know, what does it do? Well, basically you can uh, buy and sell tokens at a guaranteed price. So instead of like, you know, opening a limit order on a cryptocurrency exchange and looking at like candlestick charts and all that crazy stuff, you can, they'll just tell you the price and you can instantly swap it. So that's kind of like Coinbase's, you know, purchase feature from your bank account. But if you hold crypto cryptocurrency already, then you can, uh, you know, buy a different one. And that's key. You know, you have to hold cryptocurrency already in order to be able to use this app because it's powered by the blockchain. And in fact, you know, one inch is actually a DEX aggregator. So it, it takes a bunch of different decentralized exchanges, which you can see here and gives you the best price by combining them all in one place. So why would you use a DEX, right? If you had a website like Coinbase, why wouldn't you just use that all the time instead of this? Well, there's lots of reasons. Uh, here are a couple. Uh, the first is it's non-custodial. So they don't control your money, whereas Coinbase does. So, you know, if you had a major exchange or maybe some other... Uh, maybe less reputable exchange and you wanted to trade a large, large amounts of cryptocurrency, well, you have to trust that they won't just like run away with your money or like lock it up or freeze it. So there's no way for that to happen with something like one inch exchange. Uh, you don't have to KYC. So you don't have to give them your ID documents in order to use the application. There's no red tape. No one says you have to have minimum deposits, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. You can buy uh, smaller market cap tokens that aren't listed on the major exchanges. Okay. So a lot of these tokens that are pumping like crazy in price right now on the Ethereum blockchain, well, you can just buy them uh, on, you know, one inch exchange if they're not listed on a place like Coinbase. And then lastly, it has those instant swaps feature, which is pretty popular among these uh, DEXs.
So you can see like some of these smaller market cap cryptocurrencies are listed here. Uh, if we click on two, click on SNX. So this is one that I have in my wallet currently, which is a, uh, it's pumped a lot in price lately. So this is a synthetics token. So you can, you know, see the full list here and kind of browse around, see if the currency that you want to buy is listed. Um, so, but what we're going to do right now is actually use this thing. I'll show you how to do it. So we're going to do a swap ETH for DAI. Okay. So this is a, uh, cryptocurrency whose price doesn't change. It's a stable coin. So it's a pretty Pretty, uh, important part of the DeFi ecosystem to have a uh, reliable dollar without the price volatility. So what we're going to do is basically take you know uh, a small amount of ether from our wallet and buy some dye. So let's just say like 0 0.01 ether. So that'd be almost three dye. So what we're going to do is click swap now. All right, and this will show you how to use MetaMask and everything. Uh, you're going to see also this is the gas cost is pretty high. This is one reason that I said to use uh, at least 15 bucks with of Ethereum uh, because right now you're going to pay more in gas fees to purchase the die than you would, you know, the actual die itself. So I'm going to do it anyway just to show you how it works. Click verify. You'll see a MetaMask confirmation pop up like this. Uh, you can also edit the gas fee if you want to, if you want to take a lot longer. Uh, you know, you can slow it down. I'm just going to do it fast for the purposes of this video. Click save, click, click confirm. And now you should see that your transaction was successfully sent. I'm going to click refresh and boom, there you go. So again, this is the transaction receipt. Um, well, it's, it's a display of the transaction receipt. You can see it here on Etherscan. It basically just shows you all the details. So you can see from Uniswap, this is the app that we use. And here's all the exchanges that it aggregated in the middle. And then here you can see the final transaction on one inch to our wallet. So now that you've purchased the die, let's go ahead and add it to our wallet. Uh, click on die right here. And this will show you the smart contract page on Etherscan. So again, DAI is a cryptocurrency powered by smart contracts. So you can just like copy the smart contract address here, go into MetaMask, all right? And then click, uh, let's see here, add token and then custom token, or you can just do it this way contract address, paste it in, click next, and you can see our die balance. Boom, there we go. All right, so now you can see a list of your tokens here in the side, and you should see die at the bottom. Now that we have some die, we can use a different application. So this is Compound Finance. Just go to your URL uh, bar and type in compound.finance, okay? So this is a savings and lending app powered by the blockchain. It's a DeFi app uh, that uses smart contracts. I'll show you how it works. Uh, go ahead and click app. Okay, and you can see there are two main uh, ways to use the app. You can supply and then you can borrow. So basically what this does is you can take uh, cryptocurrency and earn interest on it. And so sometimes these are competitive interest rates. So I've seen this as high as like eight to 10 percent. And, you know, it drops down. So it's variable. But um, this is a really compelling use case for blockchain technology, potentially for everyday users, because you can buy a cryptocurrency like DAI, which we have in our wallet now, uh, whose price doesn't change. OK, and you can put it in an app like Compound and earn a competitive interest rate like better than your bank account. I mean, my bank account is currently doing like 0.01 percent <laughs> interest. And you can earn this interest rate because you're able to borrow cryptocurrency on the other side through a collateralized loan. So I've made videos on my channel about Compound in the past. So go check those out if you want a comprehensive overview on Compound. But basically, um, I'm going to show you how to supply it to Compound right now because this will show you how to use a DAP and use a DeFi app. So the first time you use it, you'll probably see like a MetaMask confirmation pop up asking you to connect to Compound. Just go ahead and confirm that. You know, I've already done that in the past, so I don't get that prompt again. But what we want to do is go ahead and supply some DAI. So I'm going to click on DAI. And then uh, click supply. And so I ask you to enable it. You'll see a MetaMask confirmation pop up. I'm going to uh, see here, click confirm. Then we can view it on Etherscan. All right, now it's done. And we can supply it to uh, the app like this. I'm just going to click max. And we can see that all the dye that we added, which was just, you know, $2.43. That's all I purchased. Like, so definitely don't do this the first time if you hold a lot of dye in your wallet. Again, this is not financial advice. Always do, you know, try this out with small amounts first. Uh, but I'm going to do that and click supply. And then you should see a MetaMask confirmation pop up. So again, this is a pretty high gas fee. Uh, I actually don't even have enough funds in my wallet to do it. So what I'm going to do is click edit. Uh, I'm going to do slow. All right. Click save. And this is going to take like 10 minutes to confirm, but uh, I'm just going to do it now. So view the transaction on Etherscan, and then there you go. So it'll take a couple minutes to finish, but whenever it's done, I'll just show you what it looks like, okay? 
Whenever it's finished, uh, you'll see a screen that looks like this. So you'll see your die has been turned into C die, and it'll show you your APY, your annual percentage yield. I think that's what it stands for. Uh, and you'll see your current balance. So you'll start uh, earning you know, interest on it, and you'll see your total balance go up over time here. Okay. So that's how Compound works, and that's how you can use it um, you know, with MetaMask and all that kind of stuff. And so what this does is it basically replaces your bank, where you can earn a better you know, interest rate on that. Uh, and then people are able to borrow money with collateralized loans on the other side. So the last thing I want to show you how to use is a mobile Ethereum wallet. Okay, so this is really important for DeFi. So I'm just using Trust Wallet right here. Okay, so this is the one that I personally use uh, to just, you know, keep, you know, a small amount of cryptocurrency in, uh, you know, kind of look at some tokens that I'm currently speculating on, things like that. I don't use this for serious money, guys. You know, if I was going to put a lot of cryptocurrency... I would use a different strategy for long-term storage, but you know, I just watch coins inside of here. You know, I'll pay people with cryptocurrency, um, that kind of stuff. And so you can just like watch your assets or if you want to like trade a cryptocurrency, if the price goes up that you're kind of looking at for the short term, you can do it with this app. So what you can do is basically go find your MetaMask wallet. Okay. Uh, and you can go to settings here, go to wallets and click create a new wallet here and then click, I have a wallet already. All right, and then do an Ethereum wallet. And here's where you can basically enter your MetaMask uh, recovery phrase. So if you go to your you know, MetaMask app, you can click export wallet or something like that and then find your recovery phrase. Or you can export the private key individually. That's what I personally do. Okay, so then you can just you know do that. Click, click import. All right, and then uh, you should be ready to go. And any cryptocurrencies that you currently have inside your MetaMask wallet should automatically show up whenever you import it, okay? So I'm going to show you some cool stuff you can do with this. Um, I like using this on the Apple device because you can use uh, Face ID. So, like, basically, you know, you have to be able to you see my face in order to access the funds. Um, so you, you can send cryptocurrency to people like this, any of the tokens in your wallet. You know, if you have DAI in there for just... Uh, you know, sending people stable cash, you can do it that way. All right. You can scan QR codes, send your die. And then one feature that's pretty cool that I like is you can swap tokens instantly from the app. So let's say you want to buy more of these small market crap cryptocurrencies right from the app that aren't supported on major exchanges. You know, you could buy comp, for example, you could just, you know, say, I want to buy, you know, like 0 0.05 five worth of ETH and you can just buy a comp directly from the app. Okay. So I'm not going to do it right now, but that's how you do it. Okay. And then you can also uh, use this as a, I believe an on-ramp and off-ramp. I don't currently use trust for that, but it looks like they, uh, they uh, added support for that recently. You just click the buy button here and then buy ETH. All right. And then, you know, do it that way with uh, Simplex or, you know, MoonPay is another one that they use. So yeah, Trust is a really great app. I've used it for a long time. There are also other cool uh, Ethereum, you know, on ramps and mobile apps coming on the scene like uh, Argent or Dharma, for example. I've made some videos about those on my channel. And those are great too, but Trust is sort of just what I've used for a long time and I like it a lot. All right, so that's an overview of how you can get started using DeFi today. You know, as always, don't put any more money into this than you can afford to lose, guys. So again, it's not financial advice. I'm not telling you to do this, but I do use this stuff as a blockchain developer pretty much every day, and that's exactly how I do it. So I hope this demystified the whole process, kind of gave you a you know a bird's eye view of what's going on in blockchain right now and how these blockchain-based applications work. So be sure to subscribe to this channel and smash the like button down below to see more videos like this that'll keep you up to date on you know what's happening in the blockchain space and how to use this stuff. And of course, this channel is primarily for developers, you know, people who are trying to learn these highly valuable blockchain skills. But a lot of people got into blockchain development because, you know, they got interested in cryptocurrency and things like DeFi before they actually became developers. I've seen this story a lot. And, you know, becoming a blockchain developer is one of the best ways to like make money in blockchain and DeFi over the long term, as opposed to like financial speculation. So, you know, if you're interested in that, want to go down that road, like how can you get started today? You can go to my YouTube homepage and find, you know, all the free courses listed there. Like they're basically like Udemy courses, but you're totally free. And if you want to take that next step and, you know, really become a blockchain master or, hey, maybe you want to take a massive shortcut entirely, I can show you how to do that step by step from start to finish and actually show you how to build a real world DeFi app on the blockchain powered by smart contracts. I'll even show you how to build like a real world decentralized cryptocurrency exchange. So head on over to dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp to get started today. And until next time, thanks for watching Dapp University.